Florida Governor Ron DeSantis could announce any day now that he is running for president in 2024. DeSantis expected to jump into the race, jump in the waters warm, right? Despite many polls showing former President Trump as the clear front runner for the Republican nomination at this point, Governor DeSantis is expected to focus on his conservative accomplishments as the leader of Florida. Joining me now, Ryan Williams, a former deputy press aide to Mitt Romney's presidential campaign. Good morning to you, Ryan. Thank you for being here. So DeSantis has told his donors that only he can beat Donald Trump. Are you in that camp of thought? I think right now it's an open question whether anybody can beat Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the leader in, in this nomination fight, and he's going to be the nominee unless someone takes it from him. I think Governor DeSantis is going to have to come out and prove that he can take on Trump, he can wither the attacks, and he can he can get through it. And if he does, I think he would have a good shot in a general election. He has a lot of areas to contrast with President Trump, his age being one of them, um, his experience as a governor, I think would be helpful as a nominee. So there, there's a lot of potential for Governor DeSantis, but he's really going to have to prove it. And getting through Donald Trump's going to be no easy task. Right. And I guess he hasn't been put to the test yet. So we'll see as he hits Iowa and New Hampshire in the weeks ahead. Is he durable enough? I guess the question will be to withstand the ire and the force, the full force of a Donald Trump. Yeah, I think it's an open question. Being governor of a big state like Florida certainly is good practice for the national spotlight. But, you know, when you're running for president, it's a different ball game. And when you're facing the kind of attacks that he is on a near daily basis from a former president of the United States who you're uh, who you're competing with the, for the nomination, that's really an unprecedented level of scrutiny, scrutiny he's going to face and attacks. And I think it's just an open question. We're going to have to see how how he does in, in these debates, which I think favor uh, Trump. They're a good stage for him to get up and kind of, you know, get, do his act and attack people. Uh, and then just whether he can do the retail politic he's going to need. He's going to need strong performances in Iowa and New Hampshire if he's going to have any shot of upsetting Trump. And to go into those states, you got to have, you know, a good retail presence. you got to go door to door, person to person, town to town. And, you know, we'll see if he can do that. Did the culture war battles, critical race theory, teaching sexuality in schools help or hurt him on a national level? In the primary, it helps. These are issues that are firing up the base of the party. These are the people that Donald Trump uh, currently kind of owns as his base. DeSantis is going to need to cut into that if he's going to have any shot of getting the, the votes he needs to win these primaries. So, yeah, they're good issues for him with the base of the Republican Party as he tries to cobble together a coalition to take on Trump. He touts Florida as being the best state in the country, and he leans into his record there and by winning uh, in his most recent election. But not everybody wants to live in Florida. In Florida, How does he walk that line and appeal to people all across the country as he visits these communities? Well, a lot of people do want to live in Florida. I, for one, moved in the last year myself. Um, I know that it's a, it's a great state, and I think people in Florida are happy with Governor DeSantis' leadership. He won by 20 points in the last election. That is remarkable in a state that was, up until maybe five, six, seven, eight years ago, a swing state. So he's got a record to run on. He can run on his accomplishments. He can run on the fact that people are leaving liberal states like New York and California, and they're coming to Florida and Texas and other states. So he, he can credibly make that argument as he explores the presidency. One other thing, a recent article in the New York Times uh, that they pointed out, DeSantis is trying to lure older voters, and part of his pitch is lowering prescription drug prices in the state of Florida, importing cheaper drugs from Canada. Is this a smart strategy? Is this um, the right time to be pushing something like that when there are so many other big issues? I think so. Look, he has to put together a coalition. You're going to need old voters, young voters, you know, people from across the the, 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 the spectrum of the Republican Party. But older voters tend to come out and vote uh, more than younger voters do. So I think it's a smart play to try to um, you know, make a play for older voters. Certainly in Iowa, the caucus process, you've got to get people to come out, not just to vote, but to actually participate in the caucus process. Those are generally older voters. So I think it's a good, it's a good pitch he can make to a, a certain section of the electorate that, that he needs to court. How aggressive do you think he'll need to be when facing off against the former president? It's a very fine balance. Uh, Donald Trump still has mythical status within the Republican Party, but he can't look weak. If he just lets, sits there and lets Trump attack him like a punching bag, he's going to look weak and he's not going to win. He has to find a way where he can contrast with Trump on conservative issues, where he can push back at him and look like he can stand up to Trump. That's really the only way he can do it. It's a very difficult task um, because Trump still is very well liked in the Republican Party and he can do no wrong. You know, he's under indictment right now and Voters in the party don't seem to really care, so you can't really attack them on that.
But you can attack him, I think, on certain issues like his handling of the pandemic. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.